What kind of a shock is it? Gee, I don't know. I think it's a McCoe. Got a deep throat, Pratt. Yeah, well, but what kind? What kind of shock? It's a tiger shark. A what? We can start breathing again. Then getting plenty of pictures oh, for the papers. Oh, Betty is. What is this bite radius what crap? That is a big mouth. Look at, mouth. Look at all it. I'm you know, I'm going to stuff your freaking head in there, man, and hey, find out if it's a man. All right? Come on. Come on. We're all in your debt for bringing in that slime. This is not a shark. All right. What I am saying is that it may not be a shark. It's just a slight. Oh, and I want you to read some I don't want to get beaten up. This is Larry Vaughn, our mayor. Match from the Oceanographic Institute. Nice to meet you. Terrific, I'm there. Wow. Martin, there are all kinds of sharks in the waters, you know? Hammerheads, white tips, blues, makos. And the chances that these bozos got the exact oh, shark... Oh, there's no other sharks like this Martin, in these waters. It's a hundred to one. A hundred to one. Now, I'm not saying that this is not the shark. It probably is, Martin. It probably is. It's a man-eater. It's extremely rare for these waters. But the fact is that the bite radius on this animal is different than the wounds on the victim. I just, I want to be sure. You want to be sure. We all want to be sure, okay? And what I want to do is very simple. The digestive system of this animal is very, very slow. Let's cut it open. Whatever it's eaten in the last 24 hours is bound to still be in there, and then we'll be sure. Maybe the only way to confirm us, huh? Look, fellas, let's be reasonable, huh? This is not the time or the place to perform some kind of a half-assed autopsy on a fish. And I am not going to stand here and see that thing cut open and see that little Kentner boy spill out all over the dock. 